Good morning. Out here in the Mojave. Another beautiful morning. Look at the way those ocotillos are just so green. Uh, I thought I'd give a little update on how the monsoons are treating us. As you can see, this filled up and we saw that. Now here was my first failure. Was this didn't drain enough right through here. So it took it out this way. Fix that. I think it should stop this flow. But it's not going to stop the flow that comes off of this hill down here. So those were all good. But the reason of today's video is some of the new growth. Let's see. Now I've spread seeds throughout all this stuff. And I have no clue what's coming up in certain areas. But we've got greenies everywhere. Um, I do know what I have in these pits. And they haven't came up. And that's elephant grass. Um, let me see if I can grow that here. Um, looks like one came up. see um also have some squash in here there's some corn in here um there's some corn in this pit moringas are in these pits um we're gonna see what comes up let's see what else uh kind of did some corrections in here to stop this flow going so hard as you can see put these little ramps in kind of leading it off to the side um over here, we put in some more moringa seeds. We put in, and you can see we've got little seedlings coming up everywhere. Um, here, I wanted to stop the flow, so I'm kind of tilting it back this way. I'm going to rock this going through and slow down the flow here. And then let this fill up. We put another rock dam in here. Now, all these seedlings are coming up. Let's see if I can get them in the camera. And these are deliberate seedlings. I don't know what they are, but they're coming up. Started doing this, and we have seeds coming up in here. Um, let's see if I can see some for you. There's one. And there's one. They're everywhere in there. Um, unfortunately, I've spread so many seeds that I have no clue. But guys, look at this. This is starting to come together really nice. Really nice, I think. Tell me what you think. Uh, I've started to decorate now. Of course. No, one of the advantage of being a rock dealer. There's plenty of rocks. We've got quartz in there. And now over here, what have we got coming up? Well, the moringas are doing really good. We've got some peas coming up in here. And looks like a cat, uh, squash in here. Or it could be a watermelon. It got washed away. Um, I think from right there. Well, there's okra in here. There's clover. Uh, that is a hemp plant. And there's several hemp plants in here. Um, and I do mean hemp. Uh, there's a squash coming up in there. There's like new growth everywhere, guys. Moringas are doing good. The sweet potatoes are doing good. Uh, we did have one iguana come through and kind of wipe out that one a little bit. Let's continue. We got a fence up because the coyotes they come dig, digging it for a compost. So we're coming around. Seeds coming up. Out here, everything's starting to bounce back. We really need that water. Sweet potato. Some more peas coming up. That watermelon just took off. The moringa trees are getting big. The yam. 
ground sweet potatoes. We put in a couple more moringa trees. Let's see if those pop up. And then one of the lizards. Well, my battle with the lizards is going to be pretty much done. I've decided I just about clicked on the lizard control stuff. Um, it's supposed to not be harmful. Look at that moringa. But right when I was about to click, I got this. I think, well, I haven't seen that many grasshoppers. And I think it's because of all the lizards. And I'll take the lizards over the grasshoppers. You know, at this point, the, the leaves are getting big enough and long enough that they're not destroying them. They're climbing fences. Just as we, and that squash is doing great. And this guy's doing good. Okra, okra. Now in here, if you look, there's a radish. There's a radish. There's radishes in here, and there's clover in here. All this stuff is coming up. Um, I guess I should have paid a little more attention. I'm starting to get squash in here. There's squash on here. We have more okra coming up over here. Okra, okra. Now this moringa, it didn't do so well when I transplanted it, but now it's coming up at the base real nicely and it's also getting these little sprouts on the stem so I think it's gonna be fine and you guys if you haven't tried moringa if you live in a, a warm area grow it that's all I gotta say it's good it's good for you it's got so many things in it that it's unreal uh, looks like a squash or a watermelon that moringa from seed Doing well. So, I think all in all, monsoon season was a great blessing for us. Oh, our wolf berries are coming back. All of them, actually. This is the best looking one. It means we're gonna have goji berries here soon. Let's check inside the greenhouse. Our cool house. Most of y'all saw the video from the other day. These guys are getting just blooming, blooming, blooming. And look at this over. More blooms. That's going to open up today. More radishes. Now over here, I think this is comfrey coming up. We'll see. In here, I went ahead and planted some tomatoes. They're coming up. We got peppers in here. We got another thing of ginger going. The yams. I broke these off two days ago. And they got good roots. Oh, one thing I wanted to cover. You see all the buckets laying around? Yeah, kind of hokey, huh? Well, what it does is catch the rain when it comes. You'll see them all weighing out here. Go with that silly. Well, I'll show you what's silly. Silly is we managed to get <coughs> off a simple catchment about 130 gallons of water that we can use in the garden. Now, over here, we set up that's just a little simple catchment, a tarp. We flushed it. I laid a heavy wire down the middle of it so it comes in. And we got all the way up to right about there on our water, which is right at 100 gallons. So right now we're sitting at around 50, 50 gallons. So all total, I'm betting that we captured somewhere around 200 gallons of water just in the buckets and on the tarp. Now, in the swells, I'm willing to bet that we got well over a thousand. Um, just stopped, not going nowhere on the land. And this filled up, and these filled up to a degree. So we were pretty happy about that. So that's our update. 
We got more rain coming next week, hopefully. So everything should go. Uh, the other great thing I gotta say, I haven't watered in two weeks. Two weeks I haven't had to water. Now I came through and did a, um, a liquid um, swamp juice through here. Why everything was wet and I just went through and fertilized real quick. Um, just so it got more time to absorb more moisture. We'll give that a shot. But as things progress, I'll let you know. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for coming. Thanks for looking. And I hope you stay blessed.